What's up guys and welcome to a new video. So today we're going to talk about how I got into riding motorcycles in the beginning because I wasn't one of those kids that used to look at motorcycles on the side of the highway um, and be like I want to ride a motorcycle one day like that just wasn't me like I, I don't know I never really showed a lot of interest in motorcycles when I was really young I just never did I don't know exactly why but never did. So, fast forward to when I was 17 years old, my dad, I lived in North Carolina, my dad lived in Florida, and I didn't have a vehicle or anything like that, and I moved out of my mom's house, and I needed a vehicle. My dad was kind enough to basically offer me his, you know, I think it was a 1984 um, Kawasaki LTD 550 and I had no idea how to ride a motorcycle I had no driver's license I didn't have anything so I was 17 years old my dad drives this motorcycle up to North Carolina and basically at the time I had no idea he was going to give it to me um, and basically says you know hey I'm giving you this bike as a means of transportation um, you know at the time that was all he could offer me and I was like blown away because uh, I, you know I was I was struggling a lot um, in my younger years I did struggle a lot financially I moved out young um, didn't have a whole lot of money um, didn't have a whole ton of skills either uh, I basically learned everything you know over the years but at 17 you know not many people have a ton of skills to make a ton of money um, so at the time, you know, I was I was running a house, um, and my boss would pick me up at, at the time, um, and the motorcycle was like this huge help because I really didn't have a means of getting around or anything like that. I had friends of mine that would come and like um, go grocery shopping and things like that, and I had a roommate at the time. Um, you know, 17 years old, moving out is uh, pretty rough. I don't exactly recommend it, but it makes you grow up fast, and uh, you learn a lot of things on the fly so to say so like I said I had no idea how to ride a motorcycle I had ridden dirt bikes and I had ridden four-wheelers and ATVs and things like that um, prior to this but I had no idea how to actually ride a motorcycle luckily when I was I believe 15 or 16 my dad did teach me how to drive a stick shift in his old Bronco 2 so I had a idea of actually like using the clutch and shifting and things like that it's just on a, a motorcycle you're shifting with your left foot versus in a car you're shifting with your hand so things are a little bit different so there's a little bit of a learning curve to it I will say that driving being able to drive a stick shift um, played a huge role in me being able to pick up on a motorcycle fairly quickly um, and like I said this is I was 17 years old when I first started riding and I'm 34 years old now so I've been riding I guess I want to say 16 years um, all but two of those years I've owned motorcycles so I guess 14 years total I've been riding um, so yeah I mean it seems like a lot but to be honest like time flies so much especially when you get out of high school like time just flies by and to me it doesn't seem like I've been riding for 14 years so let's get back on track here so when I was 17 my dad drove the motorcycle from Florida to North Carolina a little over 600 miles up to North Carolina um, and basically offered it to me and I was you know obviously blown away and I wasn't gonna say no so he taught me the basics of riding in my front yard of my rental property that I basically I learned how to ride a motorcycle in the grass because I technically I didn't have a license or anything like that and I didn't want to risk going out on the street and being in traffic learning so I basically learned how to ride this motorcycle riding around in circles in the grass at the at my old apartment so pretty wild story I know and a lot of people uh, a lot of people pick it up from like friends of theirs and things like that and to me like being able to pick up this skill from my dad um, really like in the long run it played a huge role because my dad and I share so many memories and so many good times from riding together so at the time my dad only had the one bike he gave it to me years later fast forward six years later I moved to Florida uh, when I was 22 or 23 I forget um, I believe I was 23 so fast forward uh, many years five six years later I moved to Florida 
And at the time, I had just sold my old bike. And uh, when I moved to Florida, I went and bought a KLX, I'm sorry, a KLR 650. Um, I think it was like a 2000, 2001. Um, and as soon as I bought it, my dad still at this time didn't have a bike. And as soon as I, would, I bought it, I let my dad ride it, obviously, around the neighborhood. And my dad like instantly went on the search for, for another bike. <laughs> so it was really cool. Like we had never ridden bikes together together because we never had a bike at the same time until I was 23 or so so he finally bought a Honda Shadow um, and we started riding together and like you know fast forward 11 years later um, my dad and I have shared so many amazing memories just because we both ride um, and I know that's not exactly doesn't really have to do a whole lot with how I learned how to ride a motorcycle but that's honestly like that's how I learned is I learned riding in the grass um, on a, a 25 year old bike you know <laughs> I guess 20 25 year old bike or so I believe it was an 83 or an 84 um, Kawasaki LTD 550 it was basically like a standard a lot like this bike actually this is an FZ07 a lot like this bike uh, but older obviously way older technology carbureted it was an inline four which is pretty cool um, so yeah that is actually how I learned how to ride a motorcycle and like I said I get a lot of comments on YouTube people learning how to ride bikes and a lot of people have questions and I've tried to make videos on that because I remember what it's like learning and back when I learned there was no YouTube there was no like you know just YouTube how to ride a motorcycle and there was 50,000 videos on it you know when I learned it was very uh, it was more so like I learned all the basics from my dad in like one day and everything else I just kind of picked up on the fly so yeah that is how I actually learned how to ride a motorcycle 17 16 years ago um, and like I said that has been one of like my favorite pastimes ever like I still remember to this day my dad teaching me how to ride the ride this bike that had like a duct tape seat and the exhaust was all spray painted and the headers were rusted out and like to me it didn't matter like I see so many people and they're like I gotta have this bike as my first bike like set your ego aside learn to ride on whatever you can find available um, and I guarantee you you will not regret it all right guys thank you for watching that's my story on how i personally learned how to ride a motorcycle hope this video helps and i hope to see a lot of you out there learning how to ride peace guys and ride safe Arrgh.